Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we follow accountability angel as she herself is being held accountable for her own actions. So, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Alright guys, I'm going to wait for a few of you to pop in here. I do not have very long, but I got a little bit of time. I just can't get this thing to go right. Oh, it's making that switching for signal noise to me. Well, it's definitely been an interesting day, to say the least. We had a surprise witness. Hi, John. Tube sack, what's up? Yeah, ignore my sweaty, nasty self. Uh, it just is what it is because it's hot out. And your girl sweats. <laughs> Alright, um, well, we had sentencing today. It went not as good as I obviously hoped for, but, um, about where I thought it would end, uh, is, to be honest. Um, hold on, I'm trying to read the chat here. Well, Tube Sock, there is some good news, because those crazies, uh, what's her name, Kim Porter, and Jason Good, which makes me mad, um, they tried to ask for 100 days, 100 days, for, uh, two regular batteries and an obstructing. And, as I've said time and time again, um, if I really was terrorizing a courthouse and doing all this crazy stuff, and you know whatever um that's what they asked for it's not what they gave me to stop yeah. oh come on now don't be coy with us we know how you were acting at that courthouse when uh you were auditing it i mean you were a monster you were trying to harass the cops harass everybody you tried to storm in you tried to push your way past all the guards who are blocking your path. I mean, you are a complete jackass. So, but, and though I think 100 days were in this particular scenario is a bit overkill, I would have given you 50 days. But, oh well, what you get is what you get in this case, and uh looks like you haven't learned how to be accountable yet for your own actions. You're just going to blame everybody else, I suppose. But let's continue on. Yeah, that is what they asked for. Um, why I wouldn't be charged with felony charges is crazy. Uh, obviously, I'm happy for that. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, so, now that we got a few of you in here, they sentenced me to... Oh, I forgot to... Not to turn on do not disturb okay five weekends in the county jail five um beginning august 17th which is weird because that's a thursday so i gotta i don't know figure that out um what what's up with that i know shouldn't have to do one day's right it's well first of all you got off light with five uh, weekends only and well uh yeah, it could have been worse. They could have given you 100 days because of the way you behaved. But hell, they were lenient on you because you have children you got to take care of. Which reminds me, you need to get out of frauding and uh, pay more attention to your children rather than that. Highly disappointing. Actually, there's more to it. Um, <laughs> there's, there's quite a bit more. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Yeah, I was sentenced to the 48 hours beginning 817 for um, obstructing a peace officer, which in Illinois you do have to do a mandatory 48 hours um, or 100 hours community service. And with all the wonderful community service I already do, apparently they didn't think that was an option. Well, according to the trial transcripts, uh, she believed uh, that... First Amendment auditing was a community service, and therefore that should count toward it. Uh, the uh, judge didn't really see it that way. And, well, 
Of course he didn't see it that way because all you're doing is annoying people in that particular job field. You're not actually helping anybody. You're just being a nuisance. Now, community service, the kind of community they service they want is you actually going out and physically helping the community, you know, clean up trash, uh, go to the soup kitchen and help out there, or whatever, stuff like that. I mean, First Amendment auditing? Hell no. That's not a community service. That's just a made-up thing where you can go out and annoy people. That's all that is, and that's all that ever will be. Okay. Um, but, hey, I'm not the judge. Okay, so, not only that, but for my batteries, then they gave me those... Oh, do I have a total of six? I don't know. I don't know. They gave me the five consecutive, or five weekends, beginning 825. Maybe I do have six total. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, he might have been right. I think I told Tom he was wrong, but he might have been right. Anyway, so I have the 48 hours, beginning 817... And yes, they gave me six weekends. Thank you, Tube Sock. I appreciate that. Uh, Clock the Patriarchy. It's um, two regular counts of battery and just simple old battery and um, one count for obstructing um, justice or obstruction. Uh, dang. I might have been wrong. <laughs> uh, and I got well over a thousand dollars in fines. Um, I have to complete some anger management evaluation, um, which my brother actually enjoyed his time in anger management. So, I mean, obviously, you know what that's going to do for me? That's just going to help my wonderful de-escalation skills improve even more. No, it won't help you out with your de-escalation skills. Saying de-escalate, de-escalate, de-escalate when you're in the middle of a confrontation only escalates a confrontation. You've got to use other words to de-escalate a situation, and you are not trained in that, obviously. And obviously, you will never be trained in it because you will never listen to the people who will tell you how to de-escalate a situation. So, I don't see that as a lose. To be honest, I mean, I have to pay for it. I have to pay a pretty penny for that separately. Um, but I also have to pay for my consecutive weekends in the county jail. Or what, is that how you say it? I don't know. I don't go to jail much. The, the prosecutor, Kim, <laughs> she's a fucking peach, let me tell you guys. She tried to, okay, okay, we had a fucking, oh, guys, I'm overwhelmed. We had a star witness, surprise witness, up here. Y'all remember Bia Joni from Proof Police? The guy that got me started doing what I do? That guy? It got me started years ago when I had, he tried to claim, he tried to claim the first time he met me was during a, a child pickup drop-off at the police station, which was true. I know, I have anxiety, so I can't calm down. <laughs> but, um, which was true. Um, but he tried to claim that the grandma of the ex, um, went in there because I was being mean to her or something, when in reality, I wasn't even speaking to her. I was speaking to this guy. The same, <laughs> it goes into a long story. But anyway, um, and that he claimed I was being belligerent towards her, which was never the case. Actually, I made one statement about this person being on things, and then this woman says, that's it, I'm going to the police, and then she goes in there. Um, well, given that uh, frauditors do tend to lie quite a bit, I am not inclined to believe that story at, right, at the, right at the moment. So please carry on with your amazing stories, if you can call them that. A little longer than a few minutes later. They actually gave me a lot of stipulations here. Let me just go over all of them before I go on my rants again. Yeah, my weekend. Yeah, I'm gonna have to write a book. I mean, I got so much. There. All right, I'm gonna be quiet. Okay. So back up. So he sentenced me to the 
five or six weekends in the county jail. Thank you so much, Tube Sacks. Greatly appreciated. Very much so. Um, it gave me, what was it, $1,200 or so in fines. Plus, uh, it's going to be an arm and a leg for the anger management costs if they evaluate me and decide I need it. I don't need it. Whatever. Um, got to do what you got to do. Um, also, they have banned me from the complex. They have banned me from the... <laughs> From the tax office, from the uh, the sheriff's department, from the courthouse, from all of them. If I need to get the deed to my house, I have to pre-arrange it. Well, you demand that everybody else be held accountable for their own actions. Hence your name, Accountability Angel. You're upset that you are being held accountable for your own actions. So, uh, tough luck, Buttercup. Like, <laughs> why? Why? Because the only time I go there anyway is for court. I have been there in forever besides court, right? But guess what? It gets better. It gets better. I also am to have no contact with Nick Piagioni, the one that got me started doing what I do, who went up there lying. Remember, guys, this guy is the one that attempted to get one of my children, the one with medical needs, injured at a softball game. And then lied about it, claiming he never did that. But then today on the stand, had a different story to tell. He had a different story to tell. How he did tell this person, uh, this little girl is what it was. It was a little girl that did not do it. Uh, but he said the, that stuff. Um, so, I don't know. But uh, anyway, uh, so he got up there saying saying that was truthful. I wonder, I'm going to have to look. I'm going to look into that deeper. So I can't have contact with him directly or indirectly. Um, I cannot have contact with Donna or Jim, I think, and or Kirk Pastrick, which are obviously the dude, the local radio station has hated me for a very long time, actually. Uh, <laughs> I, would, I wouldn't be surprised. Actually, I, I'm just not even going to entertain that stuff today. Um... What else was it? So, yeah, it was those. Oh, yeah, I can't have... Hold on, let me find... Yeah, defendant... But on this paper, that's what's weird is they told me certain specific names, right? And then on this paper, though, it says, uh, defendant shall have no contact directly or indirectly with LaSalle City Courthouse employees. Or I think that says employees. You can't really read it. Who knows? Uh, yeah, so am I not supposed to contact all employees or just those ones? Because you guys told me two different things, it appears. Um, I'm not supposed to have a gun. I think any weapons or something. I don't know, all this is new to me. One half. One half of the recommended. Oh. Yeah, I'm supposed to pay my fine and come back to court in a year. Well, I have heard enough of all this BS. I mean, Accountability Angel has been held accountable to a certain extent for her own actions, and she's whining and complaining about it like a typical frauditor would. So do yourself a favor and realize that you did the crime. Now it's time to do the time. So... At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.